So let's uh, just talk us through. What did he he okay. said he's an instructor. Sure. So he's going to instruct us on what we're supposed to be doing here. So the, the, the one thing about starting radials, it sometimes is considered an art versus starting. You know, right. you get in your car, you push a button or you turn a key and it starts. It's easy. Well, on a, on a radial, you have to get everything just right. Okay. The right amount of air, the right amount of fuel, the right sequence on the spark. You know, everything has to come together. Tune it correctly. Tune it correctly. Yeah. And the worst thing you want to do is get a backfire. Okay. So that's why I say it's it's very careful what you want to do when you want to do your engine start. So there's something in here that you could do wrong that would cause it to backfire? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And backfire comes a couple of ways. You know, it, uh, in your car, you stomp on the gas real fast and you might get a backfire. Not yep. so much on new cars. Yep. But the same thing on this is if you open the throttle rapidly or too much on the start, you're going to get a backfire. The backfire comes from too much air. Too much air, okay. Yeah. Now, now, people, you can use your throttle and you can time it. And, it, and, and nine out of 10 times, you'll do just fine. Okay. But there may be a time when you're going up, the engine's going around, you're trying to come back, boom. And it boom. And it pops. And what happens if it backfires? Well, it's, it's all in the timing. Okay. If it's just a mere pop, backfire, you're good, you're go. All but right. if you backfire and, it, and everything fails on you, you might blow the exhaust off, or you could. There, there could be ramifications. You blow the exhaust off. So the the point is, or through the intake, there's little intake tubes that come right. off. Uh, the engines are, you know, four thousand little parts moving together, so you want to keep them going. But okay, so let's walk through a start. I won't go through the whole checklist oh, that's or anything. Like and we've already that. assumed that the plane's been walked around, and, and we're and sitting here. Check. Yeah, what we do from here. All right. Okay. So. They all have a favorite starting position. You just heard me describe that. Right. So we all like, some people like, you'll see down here a C or it's letters on yep, there yep. for throttle. Some people like to just move it up and generally leave it there and you, you really don't have to touch it. So you're just looking at like C, L and put the bottom of the lever at the L, right? Yes, yeah, somewhere the there. favorite start position. And, and I'm, I'm saying for a normal start. Sure. There's times in, in when we were in, in Greenland, it was very cold. So and we had to massage it, do it differently, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So what you want to do, you got your throttle set about where you want it. You do need fuel pressure right. to get it started. Okay, so this would turn on the boost pumps, get fuel pressure going to the engine. Okay. And unlike your car, this airplane has magneto switches. So you're going to be turning the key on at the right time to get the spark in there. Right. Okay. So we'll leave these off. So these are switches spring loaded. Okay. You can go to the right for the right engine, to the left for the left engine. Are those the pumps or whatever? No. It says boost. Remember, these were the pumps. Yeah. Right. Boost is an electrical boost. Okay. It's a shower of ah, sparks. A shower of sparks. So it's it's an additional Just item to help the magneto to spark. Okay. Magneto, the magneto is as the engine turns, it's spooling up. Yep. Then you got your starter, and then you have your primer. So now there's where you're gonna try to mix everything, aren't you? So you use the primer, and, and everybody has their technique to their start. Uh, it comes with experience. It right? comes with experience. Yeah. Personally, what I like to do is, right now, this is the this is the mixture. This controls fuel going to the engine. All right, mixture like air to fuel ratio? No, this is just, a, we call it a mixture, but what it does is allows fuel to start to go to the carburetor to get to the engine. So is it how much fuel? Yes. All right, that's why there's uh, in it And there's three settings. Gotcha. Fourth one is turned off. Some of them have it. All right. Yeah, and, it's, and I see like lean and rich and stuff like that. Almost. Right, and that's kind of, there's we can get deep in it. But yeah, that, that's understood. how that works. So we'll start with that in the idle cutoff or the fuel's completely turned off. And we'll use the primer to interject the fuel into the cylinders. Okay. So we'll say we start the right And you engine. do it one at a time. Yeah, we'll do it one at a time. So you push it to the right. And remember we talked about that hydraulic lock? Yep. So you like to get the engine to turn through generally about 12 blades. Okay. So the guy sitting here will go two, four, six, eight. So now you're primed, you got fuel going in there. And then at the right time, at 12 blades, you'll turn the spark on. Okay. So now you've got the magneto on, you've got this boosting spark, you got fuel in there, you got the thing turning. Yeah. Hopefully it'll all come together. All the elements of combustion. All the elements of combustion like will come it. together. You'll get a cough as it starts, and then you'll bring this up to the first side. So it's almost like like the choke or something on my lawnmower. <laughs> and Same. Coughs yeah, and you give it. <laughs> and you, cough, you, you get it right. Now, it could be time badly right you could get too much not enough so you could kind of come back 
Turn the mags try. off again. Now uh, you're rich. Open the throttle. Let some air in there. Yep. Bring it back down. Nice. Start all over again. <laughs> And you'll you'll hear these guys start, and they'll go through different steps. So that's that. uh, that's the two things here. It's like the throttle is the air, and the mix is the fuel. Yep. And those and, you and got your spark and you're, up here. You got some spark, and yeah. you're also supplementing it. Or a lot of guys will let it run on the prime, right? Because the primer is interjecting fuel directly into the supercharger. So, okay. So it's as if the fuel is getting set right in with all the air right so they'll run it on the primer for a little while let it cough right and as you heard from the previous start that's what it does right it sort of coughs as each cylinder comes alive and then bring the mixture in uh, te technique wise for myself as soon as I hear that first cough right uh, if the guy sitting here I'll say bring the mixture up and I will stop priming and I'll let this take over okay and then that's that, just like the main fuel flow as opposed to the bonus fuel correct. flow, the starting yeah, fuel flow, yeah. I guess, the now prime. If it's, if it's cold, we would use them both. Until know, it warms up a little bit. All those techniques. But again, it just, all comes from experience. This isn't like, oh, I could sit here and read a book and learn how to do this. It's well, you flew it in Iceland. And I, you, bet if, I bet now I told you enough, you could start it. I mean, I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> well, I let Julia start the VC <laughs> too. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Uh, but that's that's basically the start. That's, so that's how you would start. As you're flying it, right, are you still managing the mixture differently? Does uh, it, like by what, altitude? Well, you have, yeah, that's very good. It okay. has a, a, the carburetor is made up of three different chambers. Right. And it has a barometric chamber. Yep. So it's called a pressure carburetor. So, and go back to 1935, 1944 when this one was built. How'd those guys figure that stuff out? You should see this Stromberg carburetor. It's amazing just what, looking at it. So we generally do, we take off with it full rich, right. right? We're using all the fuel we can. So you're at the end of the runway, you're ready, you're ready to yep. take off and you put it all the way up? Put it all the way up there. And uh, the fuel in these engines is a coolant. Right. So you get a lot of fuel in there to burn, but also to cool the engine. So we get up at altitude and get back to cruise and we're flying along. We let the barometric settle for about five minutes. Right. And and lean we, it out a little bit. And we bring it back to, to auto lean and it's all automatic. It's automatic. It's automatic. But it's so it's it's we say it's automatic, right? And when yeah. people these days say automatic, it's like oh, there's a computer controlling it, right? No, no. There's like a physical device in the barometric carburetor. There's a there's a diaphragm here. There's minute little metering uh, valves here. Yeah, it's 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 pretty amazing that carburetor. We could probably do an entire stream just learning how the carburetor works to automatically oh, adjust. We do a ground school on this in the B25. And yeah, yeah, that's. The carburetor is an hour's discussion. God. You know, so like some people say, it's pure magic, but it, it, it does work very well. Uh, but it needs two things. You know, it needs fuel pressure yep. and it needs the fuel to get started. 